It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Uh, we about to get started. What's going on, everybody? How y'all feeling tonight? Well, the day, the day, the day, the day. A uh, lot of business today. Lots and lots of business today. Uh, I'm not sure if I was able to get much of it on my dash cam, but up back up in Ohio on my way down here with this load down here. I have a three stop load. The first stop is in Tennessee and the last stop is in Alabama. But a lot of a lot of business today on the highway. And I I was damn near afraid that I was going to be pulled over for whatever reason. That's why I kept my eye on the speedometer, odometer, sp the, the miles per hour. Yeah, I was keeping my eyes close on that because Ohio or the little area where I was at was deep, man. I mean, it was it was it, it was cops everywhere just just rolling past it was like five it, it was like cops five cars deep on the highway and a couple of state troopers as well because when i had looked over to the side i seen the truck pulled over by a state trooper further down the street i seen a car pulled over by a, a a regular cop then further down the street i seen another truck pulled over by a state trooper so I'm I'm riding, I'm rolling. I'm like, yo, what is going on today? Like, I'm serious. Like, I don't know. Uh, look, guys, seriously. Um, I don't know what this month is. If it's try to catch a trucker month, I don't know. But whatever the case may be, make sure when you're driving on these highways and byways and freeways make sure that you doing the speed limit if you're not sure what the speed limit is do five miles under the speed limit that you're familiar with so if it's 60 do 55. if it's 65 do 60. because if you're not sure what the speed limit is and and you rolling a cop could pull you over and be like yeah you know that that speed limit sign that was about five miles back where it says 55 miles per hour yeah that's that's that speed limit and you be driving like bro i ain't noticed that speed limit back there are you serious it's 55 through here i'm normally do 60 yeah 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 you normally do 60 we gonna get you for that so yeah just make sure you pay attention to 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 the speed limit especially in the work zone that will kill you right there so you're doing 60 all of a sudden you see some guys working but you did not see the work zone sign that says 45 or 50 yeah that can get you right there you know you rolling through the work zone and you over here like yo i'm ain't ain't it sisty no bro you're in the work zone right now so it's about 45. oh well <laughs> i i ain't no officer okay at that point that's when you keep your mouth shut keep your mouth shut don't even say, don't, don't even say nothing. I'm serious. Even when a cop asks you and just, you know, try to make small talk with you, the cop got his camera going. Just like you should have your camera going if you have one. But the cop got his camera going. Like, yeah, I'm going to make small talk with this dude and, and see what I can, you know, get out of him. 
they'll come up to you all nice and shit. Hey, how you doing? I'm obviously such and such. Nice night, nice day today, and yada yada yada. But you know, uh, you know, I pulled you over because you know you was doing sixty. But officer, I thought it was, I thought it was sixty. No, it's forty five, and they're getting all that on tape. All of that interactions between you and the cop is on tape. That's why. In some cases, the cop had to has to do his job. And his job is to write you the ticket. Because you got convicted of speeding. And it's no way to get around it because it's all on tape. So that's why it's just best for you not to say a word. That's like when the lawyers tell you when you get into an accident. Don't admit to anything. Even if it's even if it is your fault. But don't admit to anything. That term, uh, you got the right to remain silent, is visceral. Use that right to remain silent. <laughs> because whatever you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. I'm just saying in the court of law. All right, so this ain't going to be long. This ain't this 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 ain't going to be long. Uh actually the 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 video that I want to that I want to present in this commentary is only 30 seconds and I really want to get you guys opinion on it and i also want to tell you what my commentary is on it so let's get ready for it ryan little <laughs> Hey guys, Lockout Men here, back again with another commentary. So let, before I get into all of that, let me just tell you who and what I am. My name is Lockout Men, and I am here for you, the new jacks. If you guys coming into the industry and you guys have any questions or anything like that that you want to know about anything trucking, and if I am able to present value or helpful tips or advice to you, that's what I do. I am here for the students, the new drivers, the brand new guys that's coming in. Also know that if you don't get your CDL now, it's going to be it's going to be a little bit more later. All right. So if you guys have any questions or anything like that, get at me in the Gmail, which is lockoutmenpodcast at gmail.com. Hit me up over there over there on Instagram in the DM or just get at me in the um, comments below. Have any questions or anything? And if I'm able to answer it, I will. That's what I do. Welcome to this evening's commentary. Thank you for being here. Yo, only thing I just want you guys to do is hit that like button. If I get if I get 25 views, give me 13 likes. It lets YouTube know and it works with the algorithm. And it is free for you. All right, let's get into it. So I seen this. I seen this video. All right. I want you guys to check it out. I want you, I want you to see what it is. And somebody help me with what's the matter with truck drivers today? Let's see. Wow. Mm. Okay, so what happened? What was the matter with that picture? Somebody explain to me what I just saw. I mean, you know, unfortunately, we, we didn't get the whole picture, but we got some of the picture. Next time, guys, if y'all record something, try to record the whole thing. Okay? Not just, 
not just the 30 second good part, but the, the whole thing. Why did the truck try to make a U-turn in the middle of the street? But you saw what he did. He tried to make that U-turn up on the curve and 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 messed up the, the fuel tanks. Probably both of them. Now, of course, if he's a company driver, he's going to have to explain that. If he's an owner operator, he's out of a lot of money. That load that he just, that load that he got on that flatbed pretty much paid for the damages to the tanks. So my question to you guys in the comments, is that a preventable? Would that go on your DAC report? Hmm. That's a good question. Now, I believe that it would probably go on your DAC report as a preventable incident instead of a preventable accident. So you got to watch that. You Some stuff, when you get into this trucking industry, into this truck, you really got to watch what you're doing. Because, because what you might think is not a big deal, it might be a big deal to the company. Say, for example, you, you make a U-turn in the middle of the street, which you're not supposed to do anyway. But let's just say you... Let's just say you had all that street, right? You had all that street to work with and you make a U-turn, okay? It might not be a big deal to you, but it's a big deal to the company. A young lady that used to work for you for US Express got terminated for that. It's simple, simple U-turn. You got terminated, one and done. That's it. Um, let's say you 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 go into you, let's say your GPS takes you into a cul-de-sac, and you have to call the police or anybody like that to come and navigate you the way out. Now, the cops are gonna give you probably give you a ticket for being in a messed up you know being in the wrong area probably probably uh, a no truck area and then it might not be a big deal to you but it might be a big deal to the company see a lot of little you, a lot of little stuff that that happens that you see a lot of little stuff that happens that's a big deal to the company Anything pertaining to this CMV is 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 widened ten times. Again, what make what you think might not be a big deal? It it might be ten times as big to the company. So you you really gotta watch what you're doing when you're driving you gotta you gotta you gotta be focused you gotta be you you gotta be pristine and you gotta pay attention so i know a lot of you guys is coming into this industry and being like yo i got my cdls i'm so happy 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 joy joy and you know i'm in this that and the third but you you're gonna have to you, you're going to have to pay attention. It's just a lot more than just getting your CDLs. So that's it. I'm just curious to know what you guys think about uh, about the video. I will play it again bef uh, at the end of my commentary. But uh, what do you guys think? I mean, of course, this company is probably probably going to have a talking to him. Maybe, maybe he might not lose his job. Maybe. I don't know. 
but don't know what company he works for. I guarantee you if it was U.S. Express, yeah, he probably would have. But what do you guys think? Is is he going to lose his job? Or even if he's an owner-operator, how much you think he's going to be out of that? I mean, I'm I'm going to assume that coming up on that coming up on that curve, he had to he he had to mess up both tanks. I'm just saying, all that gas on there. Then think of it this way: all that gas came out. The 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 cleaning crew going to have to come out there. They're going to have to. He's going to have to be shut down. He's going to be told. Cleaning crew gonna have to come out there and clean up that that fuel. That probably might cost. They probably might assess that cost to the company. So yeah, just by him doing that that little thing, and what what in the world that made him think that he can get up on that incline to try to make that U turn? Look, getting your CDLs is one is already hard enough. Keeping your CDLs is what you're going to have to continue to do. Because your CDLs is your career. It is your career in your pocket. Once you lose your CDLs, what you going to do? Where are you going to make this kind of money at? Think about that every time you start the truck up in the morning. Think about where I'm going to make this kind of money at if I mess up my CDLs today. And then that will, that would give you the, that would give you the inspiration to try to try and be on your best behavior while you driving this truck. Now, sometimes things get out of control. Sometimes things is not in your control. I get it, but just make sure that you're protected again if you get pulled over for any reason if it's a dot inspection or anything like that just know that they have their cameras and then everything that you say can and will be recorded so hopefully you have your camera running too try not to try not to implement try not to in what's that word implement in in in, in curve you, you know that word i'm talking about try not to try try not to incriminate yourself always plead the fifth <laughs> yo i'm i'm pleading the fifth yo I, I don't have nothing to say how did that happen right there sir i, I don't know Oh, okay. Well, we're going to have to give you a ticket. Okay. All right. Well, that's it, y'all. You guys take it easy. I do appreciate you guys watching. Thank you very much. I, You know what? I called my girl Pinky today, and we had a good conversation. Shout out to Keeping It 100. Um, she reverted back to uh, just just dropping her content like crazy. And and she found out ways to beat the, the the algorithm so i had a conversation with her and i think uh going forward i think i know what i'm going to be doing from now on you know hopefully you guys will enjoy the content um if this content is any value to you make sure you hit that like button it is free it helps out the channel a lot I really do appreciate it. If you know somebody that's getting into the trucking industry and my content again brings you value, share it with them. Let them know to come over to the Lockout Men podcast show and and have a good time with me. I really do appreciate it. You guys have any questions, uh, advice, or anything like that for me? Leave it in the comments below. Hit me up in the Gmail, lockoutmenpodcast at gmail.com, or hit me over at the Instagram. All right. Follow me at Instagram and follow me over at TikTok. You can also instant message me on TikTok as well. Well, guys, that's going to do it. I appreciate it. And I will come at you with another video. Peace.
stop, stop. Ryan Little. <laughs>